Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I got a few things I gotta do. Like I gotta go ahead and get my eyes rechecked. I gotta go get gas, car wash, um, and then we'll see where we go from there. But those are the main things that I gotta do right now. But how are you guys doing? How was the weekend? Over here we had nice weather. It was like 70s, 60s the whole weekend. Right now it's 56. Very nice out. Um, I don't know if I should have the windows down. I like the windows down when I drive, especially since it's getting like the weather's getting a lot warmer. Except I don't know how it is with like the GoPro, like with the noise and the wind, like how it sounds. So I'm going to be back and forth on having the windows up, windows down, but yeah. it up to like because right now it's like at uh 2500 rpms and i'll go ahead and like flip it to like i don't know like like 3500 rpms so right now i'll go and then i'll shift it to third so right now right there actually i flipped it to 3000 rpms but and then like if i want to shift usually so like right now i'm at 3000 rpms so then I'll shift and go to like, eh, like 2,000 RPMs for fourth gear. Like right there. That's kind of my, my points. Uh, I know you can be a lot like, either you can be a lot rougher or a lot easier with different clutches that you have. Like right now I have a stronger clutch. So that's what causes like, for me, I have to kind of be a bit more careful with the transmission. I can't really just like, you know, ride the clutch or go that hard on or like be so reckless on like my shifting points because otherwise that's how like, you know, I break my transmission and that's how I end up, you know, making another video on like, oh, my transmission went out. But like right now I'll go ahead and like shift it to like, or like, rev it to like a thousand and then i'll like let it let it bite right now it's at three thousand shift it to like two thousand for second gear 
it kind of depends on how you go but for regular traffic like for my first gear is a lot different for my fourth gear is a lot different so like right now i'm in second gear I'm pretty sure we're at a red light right here but actually let me go ahead and move so here's 3000 i'm gonna shift to uh third so i'll go ahead and i'll do it at like 2500 and then like right now it's at 2500 third gear i really don't see a reason to go to uh fourth so right now i'm just gonna ride it until we start moving right now there's a yellow light so right here i'll kind of just like i could either downshift but if i'm too lazy or anything i'll just coast it in neutral if i'm this close or whatever i'll go ahead and just use my brakes and it really is just different with you know how you drive a lot of like the cars like reasons or like reasons why it'll be different is the clutch your your gear ratios your your shift um your shifter the transmission and your drive shaft too if you have a two-piece or a one-piece like stuff like that can affect like you know how you shift or like where your shifting points are really but like right here 3000 3500 i'll go ahead and shift to like 2500 right here 3000 2500 and then that's kind of where my points are so i can get like a clean and smooth shift right here I'll kind of start to slow down use my brake a bit neutral and go ahead and use my brake so I'll go ahead and do it again 3,000 2,000 I'm in third gear I'm gonna be going to fourth so usually I wait to like 3,000 and then I'll do it to like 2,000 so here we go right there right now I'm gonna just go ahead use my blind side mirror piece this little piece right here these things come in very handy because like all I have to do is just this I don't have to be like oh right here so like right here I'm gonna go into fifth so I'll sh right now I'm gonna take it a 3000 and then I'll shift it to like 2500 since it's kind of farther i'll go ahead and downshift so i'll blip it to like uh, like 500 rpms more than what it is right now i'll just give it like a nice blip you don't want to give it too much otherwise like it'll like mess up your rotation with the transmission and the engine but you also don't want to give it so small because or like so less because otherwise it'll like like lurch your car or like give it like a like a weird like like jerk motion pause but yeah so like right now 3000 i'll shift it to like 2500 boom i'm in fourth gear and then like right here 3000 um i think i could hold the fourth actually i'll just go to fifth so right now i'll shift to like eh, like 2500 so right there let me know in the comments like how you shift or like like if i'm doing it right or anything because i didn't go to school to like do the shifting i really didn't like look up like how to um how to shift or like how to drive transmission i was kind of just like top of my dad so like uh, I was taught in a Honda Civic my old Honda Civic I think I have a picture like somewhere right here I'll have like a couple pictures like around here but I was taught in that and the clutch was super super like like walking 
like I was able to like shift it without even putting the clutch in like that's how wacky it was and like I did not know how to downshift in that thing I didn't know how to like uh, like rev match in that thing and that was when I was 17, 16 maybe around there 16 maybe Ooh, there's a nice 10 speed right there wow but yeah so you know I'm still like if you have any tips or anything that you would like to let me know go ahead and let me know but yeah that's like a little crash course on like how I do it maybe you could pick up a little something so right now I'm getting the the light for you know 50 miles to E so I'm gonna go ahead and fill up on gas Looks like they got the circus in town. Alright guys, well that's going to be the end of this video. If you like it, go ahead and like and subscribe. And let me down in the comments like what else I should do. You know, would you like to see more topic videos? Would you like me to use the 360 camera more? Or stick with these POVs, you know? Let me know. Alright? Thank you. Bye.